and 43.2 miles southwest of Minot. You'll find a small town named after the largest kind of earthen lodge. Hannah Davis stopped by to find out more about the history from the townspeople as they celebrated 108 years of their township. Welcome to the city of Makoti, as the locals would say. It's just one of many places that popped up thanks to that railroad leading from Max to Plaza. We had a business here when we first were married and uh, we had a locker plant and a uh, butcher shop and my husband was a master electrician. That was back in the 50s, about a half a century after the Sioux Line Railroad Company completed the tracks leading through town. Charles Mulligan moved in back in the late 90s and calls himself a McCody transplant. Like the Hoffs, he's helped the town grow. The park was one of my favorite uh, things. Uh, some of my relatives talked me into doing it since I was retiring to just kind of get it started. And we did get it started, uh, Wanda and I, and the whole community jumped in and bought all these plants and trees and bushes and stuff. Since then, the town has gotten smaller as people have moved away or passed on. But current residents aren't giving up on this little city. My husband originally grew up here and we met and lived in Fargo for many years and uh, just thought about where we wanted to raise a family and, and kind of what was important to us and moved on out. Updates are in the works for the town, including the addition of a water tower. But it's the people that make it great. We were an invisible dome of love and Charity and honesty and safety and cleanliness and it's a wonderful town. A celebration of over 100 years as the city of Makoti. For KX News, I'm Hannah Davis. What a sweet story. If you're looking to join in on the Makoti lifestyle, there are some houses for sale that are ready for new ownership. Well, we told you all about last night's EF1 tornado that swept through Headinger County. 